Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Now we come to the uh, lesson number three in Medina book three, and uh, we start from question thirteen because I had completed till question twelve in the previous video. So we start from question three here, and and nasabu and nasabu. What do you mean by nasab nasabu? means the belonging where you belong like citizen if you are from india you call an indian and if you are from pakistan you call a male person pakistani or hindi okay so that's how we give the names nasab nasab ilhaqu ya in means you have to put a ya like from hind how the word has been originated from al hind how you have derived this word hindi yun how now this word has been derived hindi hindi yun from the word itself al hind so what is the extra letter that you have put in this word it's a ya hindi yun so there is a shadda i don't uh, see a shadda here but this ya carries a shadda ilhaqu ya mushaddada mushaddada means a ya with a shadda fi akhirihi al is in the end of this noun at the end of this noun like the noun is al hind so you put a ya mushaddada means ya having a shadda at the end of this noun al hind so when you put a ya at the end of this noun what does it become hindi yun so you give a stress when you pronounce hindi yun litadullu uh, ala nisbatihi litadullu means to show ala nisbatihi nisba means it belongs to this country you're showing the belongingness or the connection or the relation for example another example al iraq now this is the name of a country now a person or a citizen of iraq what will you call him uh, in english you will say an iraqi right now in arabic what do you say iraqiyun because after the noun iraq you have added a ya with a shadda iraqiyun that's how you uh, make the nisba out of the country name so the question is unsu ilal asma'i al atiya now there are a lot of country names here and you have to make a nisba out of it so here they have uh, actually given only male uh, nisba so you can also make a female nisba just adding a ta marbuta after this ya mushaddada i will show you but uh, before this question actually this question is very easy i will come to this question later but what i wanted to discuss with you all here um, uh, previously i had done question uh, number 10 i think استخرج من الدرس الأفعال مبنية للمجهول وأذكر نائب الفعل كل واحد منها. so all of the مجهول files that has uh, that is in this lesson there is, it's all collected in this table. so for, uh, to make it easy for you I have uh, put this uh, table here and I will share this table with you. inshallah So you can clearly see the majhul uh, fail that has been given in this lesson. The first one is futiha. How do you know this is majhul? Because you know the rule. Uh, this is a simple, um, simple. Uh, what you, what I can say is sorry. This is a simple verb fataha. Okay, simple verb fataha. This fa. the ha so what is the uh, sorry what is the rule for past madi what is the rule for madi when from madi madi verb you will make a majhul from a madi verb so the first rule for madi is the first letter of the verb will get a dhamma and the second last letter what is the second last letter here this is the first letter this is the sec 
second letter and this is the third letter what is the rule here the second last what is the second last letter here is ta so this ta will get a kasra the second last letter will get a kasra okay and this third letter will remain the same so this is the rule what is the rule number one the first letter will get a dhamma and the second last letter will get a <coughs> kasra so here if we have <coughs> sometimes we have like akbala akbala okay we have a four letter madi word but this is uh, this is mazid you know mazid uh, with extra letters so they have different rule when we come to making this uh, into majul they have different rule but for now we'll concentrate on the three letter triliteral verb so futiha the first letter has a dhamma and the second last letter has a kasra over here okay i'll take a red pen here so it will be easier for you to understand fatha and the second last letter a kasra and naibul fail where is naibul fail naibul fail is dhameer mustatir because in this you cannot see any visible uh, dhameer so it is dhameer mustatir then futiha dhameer mustatir yuftahu now what about in present tense when it is a present tense yuftahu what happens in present tense also the first harf mudare harf mudare means alif noon ya and ta anaitu anaitu these all four letter will get a dhamma the harf anaitu will get a dhamma yuf because originally we know <clears throat> from fataha if you make present tense it will be yaf the hu okay <clears throat> yaf the hu so what changes are <clears throat> here when you make it a majhul the harf mudhara ya gets a dhamma instead of yaf it becomes yuf and what is the second last letter we have one this is two this is three and this is four which is the second last letter the ta now here it is already it is having a fatha so when you make a majhu the harf anaitu gets a dhamma in present tense i'm talking about the present tense and the second last letter which is this letter ta second last letter gets a fatha yuf tahu in this case what happens the ta is already having a fatha so it will remain in fatha sometimes like um, sometimes in uh, uh, some in some present tense maybe uh, in the third second last letter maybe in yakhluqu uh, yashrubu or yashrabu and then uh, there are there are some present tense i don't remember it now where uh, the uh, third letter has a kasra here so what you will do in making majhul this kasra will change to fatha okay now we will see in the examples here yuftahu where is the naibul file here dhameer mustatir we know in present tense ana nahnu anta huwa and hiya these five dhameers are always mustatir okay uh, what is the original uh, uh, verb here suriqa saraqa the original verb is saraqa in majhul it is suriqa now suriqa what happens <coughs> suriqat ashya'u now what happens here there may be a sentence in this lesson suriqat ashya'u means the things were stolen what was stolen the things were stolen so in this case the maful bihi has become the naibul file the moment it becomes naibul file the fatha of maful bihi is lost or removed and a dhamma of file is given to ashya that's why this maful bihi acting as a file right now so when it acts like a file when it represents a file it will also represents its haraka
Surikat alasha. That means the things were stolen. If I say saraka alissu al ashiaa, that means the thief has stolen. Uh, sorry, the thief stole the things. For example, if uh, sorry, for example, if I say hmm, here. Saraka, Saraka, Alissu. Okay, sorry, there will be a double lamb. Alissu. Okay, Alissu, Al Ashya. Okay, Al Ashya. Ah. So, what, what is the Arab here? Fail, Fail, and this is Maful. Behi. So, in a normal Joomla failure, what you see is there is a fa il here and it is carrying a dhamma. Hmm? And this is a maful bihi carrying a fatha. So, when you make this into majhul, what happens? If I say now make this Joomla failure into uh, majhul, into passive. So, the first thing what you do is su riqa, change the verb. Now, how will you change the verb? By giving the first letter into Dhamma, second last letter into Kasra. Okay. This is how you make the past verb into Majhul. Because you are making the whole sentence into Majhul. Now, what will you do? What will you do? You will delete. Okay. I will take this <coughs> as a red, uh, red marker. You will delete this file. In Majhul, what happens? The file is deleted. Okay. The file is deleted. So, what will you do? Suriqa al Ashya. Al Ashya. Ashya. What will happen here? Will you give a fatha over here? Because this is the maful bihi. No. Now, the maful bihi is taking the position of a file because file has been removed. So, this has taken the place of a file. So, what will happen when this maful bihi takes the place of a file? The haraka also changes to dhamma. So, what happens here? We will put a dhamma here. Ashya u. Okay. Al ashya u. Okay, so when it takes the place of a file and plus the haraka also changes the haraka, then it becomes naibul file. It is representing the position of file. That's why it is called naibul file. Naib in Arabic means representative. So your uh, jumla in majhul has become from saraka al al ashya to surika. Al Ashia, Ashia U, sorry, Al Ashia U. Okay, this is how Majhul is made. Majhul sentences are made. So, in this case, Suriqat. Why Suriqat has been taken? Sorry, I have not put a ta tanis over here. Why? Because Ashia is Ghair Akil plural, and you know, for Ghair Akil plural, we will put Atatanis, it is considered to be a feminine. Is that's why Suriqat al Ashia. That's why. Okay, now you got understood. So we have to keep in mind about the Nibel file, the gender of Nibel file, and that's how you will uh, decide what the fail will be. Either it will be in uh, Mudakkar or so, in this case, Ashya is a hierarchical plural. So, you will take a feminine um, verb. Now, Wulida. Wulida means to be born. And what is the actual verb? Walada. Walada. Hmm? So, Wulida Rasulu means uh, he was born. Rasul was born. Wulida uh, here, uh, the uh, Naibul file is Rasul. This is according to the lesson. If you want to go and check in the lesson, you can see the sentences. So, I will quickly go through all the um, uh, fails. Wulida is the same. Here, there is no Naibul file. When there is no Naibul file, that means the hidden Damir Mustatir is 
the Nibel file. Okay. Similarly, like uh, if I if I tell you uh, the simple verb as the haba. Okay. So if I say the haba. Okay. The haba is failed. If I ask you where is the file, so you will say hova the mir mustatir. Right. That's how. Now if I say Zuhiba. This is Majhul. So if I ask where is Naibul file, you will say the hidden the mirror is Naibul file. It's the same, the same rule. Wooly that why this uh, Tatani is here? Maybe because of the um, Naibul file might be in uh, might be a uh, oneness. That's why. Wooly that wooly that. And this fatha might be because of the al lamut tarif. Then wulidat, it's the same. Kutila, the actual verb is katala. So kutila al jasus. Jasus is spy. So if I say katala al jundiyu al jasusa. Now when you make it into majul, you will delete the file. Jundi is the army or the troops or the soldier. So you will delete the file here. And the maful bihi al jasusa will take the place of the file and also the haraka. So kotila and you will change the verb from katala to kotila. Kotila al jasusu. Yusmau. This is fail mudare. So you know now how it is changed. The actual verb is yasmau. Okay, so it will be the first uh, naitu, harfa naitu will get a dhamma, yus, and the second last letter will get a fatha, yus, mau, alazan, and this is naibul file. Khulika is khalaka, from khalaka, al insan, kotila, from katala, yuktalu. So this is naibul, uh, the uh, majhul form of uh, present tense is yak. Tulu. Now this ta, the second last letter here, it had the actual verb in um, present tense was yaktulu. Okay, yaktulu. This is the actual present tense verb. The second last letter is having here what? This is having a dhamma. So when you change this into ma, uh, majhul, it has yuk, yuk, the lu. The second last letter will have a fatha. Then it will be in majhul case. Okay. Majhul. The, this is how you will recognize. Yes. Okay. This present tense having a dhamma and a fatha on the second last. Okay. This is majhul verb. Yuqra'u. Tukra'u. So this is also a majhul. Now. Uh, this. Uh, now this is for uh, male plural. So the ya harf anaitu has a dhamma. And then the second let last letter. Leave the vow and noon. This shows it is a plural of uh, a muzakkar word. Leave the vow and noon. What is the second last letter here? Lam. So this lam will have a fatha. Yuldahu. Okay. Yuldahu. The second last letter will have a fatha. La yusma'u is the same. So this was all the majhul verbs in this lesson. So I wanted to discuss this with you uh, just uh, for your knowledge. And you can copy all this in after the lesson. Now inshallah we proceed towards the uh, question that we were in with nisba. I told you how nisba is made. For example, here I will show you al-hind. So uh, you will remove the al and uh, hindi. Okay, hindu. Okay, it's in marfu form. Hindu. So what you will add here is extra ya with a shatta. So if this is in marfu form then what will you do? Hindun hen uh, hendiyun. Now this damatayan is showing that this noun is in marfu case. Now what will you do? This damatayan will change to kasra. Why? Why will it change to kasra? 
why why will it change to kasra any 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 answers any guesses because when ya is added when ya is added this ya will force this letter to have a kasra this is the rule the moment ya comes it will force the last letter to have a kasra that's why the dhamma tain is removed so it becomes hindi now what happens when we are making a nisba there is a shadda always over the ya this shadda is always with a ya and this is the proof this shadda is the proof that it is a nisba okay this ya uh this ya with a shadda is a proof that it is a nisba and now we know that it was a marfu case so we will put hindi yun so this is for male hindi yun what about female how will you make uh, for a female just simple hin di ya with a shadda because the shadda will always be there shadda hindi ya and a tamta hindi ya to this is how you make a uh, feminine okay with the tamar buta okay here it's a tamar buta and uh this one the ya for nisba okay the ya for nisba will always be there to show that it is a nisba the tamar buta shows that it is for feminine here this is how you make for male and female in case of iraq iraqiyun what about uh, feminine uh, it's a ra qi ya with a shadda and fatha iraqiyatun this is how you make for feminine what happens for now there are uh, certain uh, some country names as sudan sudani yun su sudani yun this is sudani yun and feminine sudani yatun okay ni ya tun sudani ya tun kuwaitu kuwaiti okay please uh, take into consideration the harakas i said when the ya comes kuwaiti okay the ya has come so what happens this dhamma will change to kasra kuwaiti ya uh, sorry for this is for uh, the feminine kuwaitiyatun for muzakkar what will be kuwaiti yun with a shadda kuwaiti yun okay then uh, uh, yaban yabani yun it's the same yabani yun and uh, yabaniyatun ad-deen diniyun deen is religion any noun irrespective of the country name you can also uh, make with the other nouns also like madrasa uh, if i say a school book what will you say school book uh, you will say kitab uh, kitab al kitabu al madrasiyu like uh, from madrasa what will you make mad ra sa hmm? mad ra sa now this is feminine how will you make mad ra mad ra sa mad ra si ya tun okay mad ra si ya tun so this is for feminine nouns like this and uh, if i say al kitabu um um the school book then what will you say al kitabu al mad 
Rasiyun because this is male now. Okay. Sorry, Madrasi you because it has a Allah tarif. So no the matan here. Al Kitabu al Madrasi you. Okay, you will make it like a sifa because nisba and sifa goes hand in hand. The rules for sifa is also for the rules of nisba. The only exception, what is the exception? The only exception is this, the uh, sorry, the ya with a shadda. Whenever you see the ya with a shadda in case of this, uh, you will know that this is not a sifa but a nisba. But this bar works like a sifa. Okay. So when you see this shadda, yavita shadda, you will recognize that it is not a sifa but a nisba. Okay. This is how nisba works. So now what about the other countries? Dini, dini yun and dini yatun. Both can be in male and feminine. Nahun. Nahweeyun. It will be the easy ones I'm not writing, but I'll write Nahwe. And Nahweeyun. Nahweeyun. Okay. Nahwe. Sorry. Nahweeyu. And Nahweeyatun. If it's feminine. Nahweeyatun. And um, at tarikhu tarikhiyu and tarikhiyatun nabiyu so nabawiyun. They have given this example nabiyun nabawiyun. There is only exception here nabawi nabawi. This uh, ba has taken a fatha because. Uh, in in Nabi, the spelling is an Nabi. Noon with a Shadda, Ba with a Kasra and a Ya. You know that the, there is a Ya. That's why Ba is taking a Kasra. But here what happened? Na Ba. Ba has taken a Fatha and Wow has come to take the Kasra for a Ya. Okay. Wow has come to take the Kasra of the Ya. So that's why it is Na Ba We Yun. al ah Akhawiyun. You can't say Akhiyun. You cannot say Akhiyun. You will say Akhawiyun. Brotherly. Brotherly love or brotherly. It's type of like this. Akhawiyun. Uh, and Nabawi. Same with Nabawi and Akhawi. Istakhruj minad dar amsila linnas. Ukharu. Jama Ukhra. So this Ukharu means another. Another. Ukharu. Ukhra is used for feminine nouns. This is a feminine version and this is for male. Wahiya mamnu minasarf. Qala ta'ala. Faman kana minkum maridan means whomever uh, amongst you is sick. Maridan sick. Aw ala safarin. Or on traveling, or if he is traveling, fa'iddatun min ayamin okhar means uh, this is the rule from Surah Baqarah for those people who get sick or who is traveling uh, in uh, the Ramadan period. So for that, Allah Taala has given uh, exception for them, like for them, min uh, ayamin from the days okhara means other days other days like they can keep or they can fast in other days other than ramadan what should what is the condition if they are sick and if they are traveling okay so min ayamin okhar okay these are jama uh, okhara now, uh, sorry, I told you this is a feminine version. It's not. It is feminine because when it some uh, plural, when they ch uh, some nouns which are singular and they change to plural, they take feminine form. Like if I say, Ah, uh, there is a tamarbuta in plural noun now. Th that's how for okhara, uh, okharu, 
there is a, a plural uh, the plural of okharu is okhra but this word okhra is a feminine noun okay so uh, now uh, question number 16 tamil maili yastati'u tastati'u astati'u what is the meaning of astati'u istata from which verb it is coming it is coming from istata istata means you can or i can or he can istata istata can anyone uh, istata can anyone guess uh, what is this it's fail mazid with three letters here is the ta alif seen and ta from saaltumuni ha these are extra letters is the ta means he can and yes the tiu means it is the uh, mud, uh, mudare form means he can tastati'u means he uh, you can and astati'u means i can harf anaitu ya astati'u tastati'u yastati'u man yastati'u an yaktuba an is uh, the tool of nas that's why yaktaba ba with fatha man yastati'u the one who can an yaktaba the one who can write الدرس the lesson على السبورة on the board بخط خط with the handwriting واضح means clear واضح to be clear it comes from the word واضح واضح means to be clear واضح means clear أتستطيع أن تسوق شاحنة Ya Zubair, Shahina. Uh, ya Zubair means uh, Atastati. It is a questioning tool. Hamza tool is the farm. Atastu. Can you, can you, uh, uh, an Taswaka? Taswaka means uh, to, can you drive? Can you drive? Taswak means uh, the um, to drive. Shahinatan means the truck. Ya Zubair, can you drive the truck? Hazihir Risala bi khatin means with the handwriting radi'in. Radi'in means not good, bad. La astati, I can't. Astati means I can't. La negative particle. La astati, I can't. An akra. Aha uh -huh. means I can't read it. Akra'a with a fatha because this is tool of nas. Akra'a. Uh -huh. Full stop. Atati. Atastati'u means I'm asking you. Can you antakra'a? Uh -huh. Means can you antakra'a? Uh -huh. Means can you read it? Anta ya bura ya bara'a. Ya bara'u means bara'u is uh, the name so i'm um, i'm saying i can't read this because the handwriting is bad can you read it ya bara'u so i'm asking can you read it uh, uh, ya bara'u so you see how this word is the ta is used in different forms of fail madari atastaina Okay, now when you are speaking to a feminine, singular, mukhatib, tasta'ina with a ya mukhatiba, a tasta'ina an tawsili, means can you, I'm speaking to a feminine, singular, mukhatib, a tasta'ina an tawsili, an tawsilina, now, what is this form? This is the tool of nas. When the afalul khamsa comes, what is the rule? The ya, the noon drops. So from ta si lina, what happens? Lina, what happens? This noon drops. So what remains? Ta si li with a ya only. 
Antagsili. Okay. Antagsili. Hazihil malabis. This, um, these clothes. Al yawma. Today. Ya layla. Can you wash these clothes today? Ya layla. If I say in English. Tamil mail. Salla. Yusalli. Salli. What is this? This is um fail uh, of uh, means uh, salla means to uh, pray. Salla means to pray. Salla is the past tense. Yusalli is the present tense. And salli is the command. Okay. Now, there are a few examples using these verbs. Asallaytu. Uh, sorry, asallayta. I'm asking. Asallayta. This is damir with ta. Ta mukhatiba. For male, singular, mukhatib. Asallayta. Az-zuhr. Ya Hussain. Sallaytu fil masjid al-harami. Wa fil masjid al-nabawi al-sharifi. Okay. I prayed in masjid al-haram and masjid nabawi al-sharif. Wa uhibbu and I love an usalliya. Why ya with fatha? Because of the tool of nas. Hmm? And you know that in present tense, what is it? Yusalli. Okay, yusalli. So it will be usalli for ana. An usalliya. And ya will carry a fatha to show it is in the nas case. Fil masjidi masjidil aqsa bi iznillah. And I love to pray in the Masjid Aqsa. Masjid, Masjid Aqsa is the, uh, what do you call Masjid Aqsa? Uh, Bi Iznillah, with the permission of Allah. Salli, now this is command. Up till here we used for uh, past tense and present tense and now command. Salli, Bina, means pray with us. Bina, noon al filing Bina. Pray with us. Ya Sheikh means O Sheikh, O Mister. La tu salli. This is negative command. La tu salli. Al faraida fil bait. Al faraida fil bait. Faraid is fard. Means fard. Fard means the obligatory prayers. Fard is singular. Fardun uh, is singular. Fard is actually the obligatory prayer that has been made compulsory for you. So we say fard. Actually, the actual word, original word is Arabic. Fard with ta'at. But in Urdu, we say farz. Farz. Uh, because in Urdu, the ta'at is uh, pronounced as za. Farz. So that's why... Um, is the difference now if this is singular what is the plural faraida means the obligatory prayers we are saying la tu salli al faraida don't pray the obligatory prayers now this is plural fill by in the house lamma usalli al asr lamma means not yet this is also the tool of nas Lama uh, usalli al asr. I did not pray asr. Not yet. I have not prayed asr yet. Uh, we are coming to question 18. Hazihil asma'a a shahur al arabi. Shahur means shah. Shahar means month and shahur is months. Arabic months. These are the names. So first is al muharramu. Uh, safarun Rabi'un al awwal Rabi'un al akhiru Okay Jumadi al awwal Jumadi al akhiru Akhiratu Why Jumadi al akhiratu Jumadi al akhiratu There is a difference Okay Jumadi al Ula, Jumadi al Ula and Jumadi al Akhiratu. There is a difference. Rabi is Awal and Jumadi is 
aw ula not awwal it's ula so that means this jumadi is feminine that's why it is coming ula so this ula is for femininity if this noun is feminine then we will say ula and if this noun is male we will use awwal both means first okay jumadi al akhiratu akhiru and akhiratu there is a difference so rajabun Sha'banu, this is mamnu minas sarf with a single dhamma. Uh, Ramadanu is also mamnu minas sarf. Shawalun, this is normal noun. Zul, uh, qa, zul qadati. Zul qadati, why it is having a kasra? Because zu is uh, the from from the uh, asmaul khams and this is acting as a mudaf and a qadati is mudafilah. So this name is in Mudafilahi structure, Idafa structure. Zul Hijjati. Now this month is for a Hajj. So Zul Hijjati. This is also an Idafa construction. So when you uh, memorize these names, just remember that uh, there are some names. Al Muharramu. If you remove this Al, then you will say Muharramu. Okay. Safarun. There are some mamnu minas uh, sarf here like uh, Sha'banu and Ramadanu. So remember there are two names. Those are mamnu minas sarf. Now there are names like Muharram and Safar. They are male names. Rabiul Awwal, Rabiul Akhir. They are male. Jumadi, uh, uh, Ula and Jumadi Akhira is feminine names. Okay. Rajabun is normal. Zul Qadati, Zul Hijja. They are mudaf ilayhi. Like you have to memorize like this. Tamil Mayali means complete what is following. Imma and wa imma. Now in Arabic sentence when this imma is repeated in the same sentence then its meaning is imma as for either this or that. When the imma is repeated in the same sentence the meaning is either this or that. That, for example, al ism fil lughat al Arabiya, imma mudakkaru wa imma muannasun. So, what is the translation? The noun in Arabic language is either male or I or it is feminine. Okay. Imma tazuruni wa imma azuruka. Means either you visit me, tazuruni means you visit me, ta is harf anaitu. Zuru azara from zara, this word. Zara means to visit, he visited zara. Now, what is the fail mudare? Ya zuru. Ya zuru. Okay. So if I say tazuru means. You, um, uh, you visit Tazuru, if I say Tazuru, Tazuru means you visit. So either you visit, ni is means you visit me and or I visit you, Azuruka, harf anaitu, uh, Hamza, or I visit you, Azuruka. Ibrahimu imma maridun wa imma musafirun. Like uh, Ibrahim may be either he may be sick or he may be um, traveling. Adkhil imma fi salas jumal min insha'i. Means you have to uh, uh, make three sentences and uh, enter or use imma in your sentences. Okay, this is the homework. Question number 20 is Al Harbu. Muannas Taqul Al Harbul Alamiyatu. Ula. Alamiya means World War One. Al Harbu Alamiya Ula means World War One. So they are saying Al Harb. This word is Muannas. That's why Alam. It, they, they are not using alam. Al alam means world. So they are not using a male word for her. But alamiyatu. Now, what is this yavishadda? Can you say? This yavishadda is showing this word is a 
nisba for this word. Now you can see al, al, monas, monas, single, single, gender. Everything is the same like a sifa. But can you say this word is a sifa for her? No. Why? Because this ya, the extra ya is there with a shadda. This ya with shadda shows that this is a nisba. Nisba works like a sifa, but it has um, extra ya with a shadda. And ula, as uh, before I said ula, ula is used for feminine and awal is used for male. So that's why when this is feminine, the nisba is also feminine and the cardinal numbers are also feminine. Al harbul alamiyatu al ula world war one. Al thaniyatu means al harbu al ahliyatu. Al ahliyatu means civil war. Means civil war. So if this is feminine, the word, any word or describing word that is coming will uh, will be um, in um, feminine feminine it, it will be feminine so this also is a nisba with a ya, ya with a shadda question number 21 hati mudare afalul atya means give the fail mudare of all these fail madi words what is uh, the hawa means hawa means to contain to contain hawa with a yamak surah you know when you whenever you see a past tense with a yamak alif maqsura what will it be in present tense it will change into ya so here our uh, present tense verb will be hawa hawa will be ya we with a ya the alif maqsura changes to ya it means to contain qabata means to um, grasp to you know to uh, like to cage in something to um, grasp tightly qabata so qabata qabata will become uh, yak bidu Yak be do okay. Yak be do then Saraka will be. I'll only only write the present tense okay. Uh, Saraka will be any guesses? What is yes, uh, Saraka to steal? Yes, re ko. If I say please make this into majhul, what will you do? Yes, riqo. The harf anaitu ya will have a dam. Yes. Then what happens to the second last letter? Fatha. And yus raqo. Okay. So this becomes the majhul. This is how you make a present tense into majhul. To steal. Mana'a to prohibit. It will be Yamna'u. Yamna'u. Then Ladaha means to get sting. Sting by the bee. Yaldahu. Yaldahu. Then Nasaba. Nasaba. Nasaba means to erect. To make something stand. So, Nasaba Yang Subu. Yang Subu. Salaba is uh, uh, to. Uh, Salab is uh, actually the cross. Okay. Salaba to crucify. Okay. Crucify. So, it will be. Yes, Lubu. This verb is in the Quran. You will come across this. Yes, Lubu. And Sarra, Sarra is to uh, make someone happy. So, Ya, Yasurru. 
yasuru okay to make happy um, or happy so these are the fail mudare words and question number 22 hati jama al asma jama al asma latiya means you have to give all the jama from of all these nouns harb harb is war so what is the jama here any guesses jama for harb harub i'm only writing the plurals harub harub okay then wasan uh, wasana is um, actually uh, the false god or the idol so awsan light awsan and um, hidaa hidaa is shoes what is the plural ah dhiyatu okay ya mutashadda ah dhiyatu deen what is deen religion adyan deen adyan Hujrun yeah. okay. mm. <clears throat> is whole. Okay. So uh, it will be there are two uh, plurals. Hujrun uh, is first one is Ajhurun. Uh, Ajhurun. The other one is Juhurun. Some words have two plurals. Zend, Sin, Dhunubun. Then Shahinatun, Truck. Shahinatun. Okay. Shah. He na to Shahinatul. Uh, I think it's ta, uh, the feminine Shahinatul. Sorry, I wrote it Shahinat like uh, Jamamwana Salim and Malbus. Malbus is cloth, so Malbus will be Malabisu. Malabi su. Then we have qaidatun. Qaidatun means qaida law. Uh, you can see the words. Okay. Qaidatun means law. What is the uh, plural? Qawaid. Okay. Qawaidun. Then Jasus is spy Jawasisu. Pay attention on the spelling. Jawa. There is a ya. Jawasisu. Okay. Wow. Jawasisu. Then we have Lissu. Lissu means thief. So Lususun. 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 Then we have hadith. Hadith is the sayings or the doings of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ahdithun. Ahdi. With a ya. And then the sa. Ahdithun. Okay. These are the plurals. Now question number 23 is. Adkhil kulla kalima mimma yati fi jumla mufida. Means you have to make all the sentences, the nouns given here. You have to make sentences. Wasalla, saraka mana asurra al harb. Mu'azam, mu'azam means um, most of. Mu'azam means most of. Surra is to make happy. Saraka steel, salla to pray. Mana a to prohibit. Mu'azam most of it. Harb war. Ibnu kaza wa kaza sana. Means, uh, this means that uh, 
like uh, Ibn Kaza wa Kaza Sana means the son of this and this, uh, the 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 age of the somebody you are saying. So it's a way of saying in Arabic Ibn Kaza wa Kaza means like this and like this you have to say like uh, Ibn uh, uh, Ibn uh, how old is your son? How old is your son? So, what will you say? Ibnu is ten, my son, like the son or the uh, son is 10 years old. So, how will you say? Ibnu Ashara Sanatin. And you will use the rule of numbers from 1 to 10. If you want to say the son is 10 years old, how will you say? Ibnu. This is your Mubtada. Ibnu. Okay. Now you are giving the information about Ibn. So this will be your Khabar. So what is the Khabar about the son? That he is 10 years old. Asha. Asha. And Sana. Sana is. Sana. Or you can say Sanawatin because in uh, number rules from uh, 3 to 10, the counted noun is in plural form. Sanawatin. Okay. So what, why did I take Ashara? Remember, if the counted noun is in feminine, then the number will be in male. Okay, that's why it is in male. This is feminine. And this will be also mudaf. And this will be mudaf ilahi. And this whole thing is khabar. This whole thing is khabar for Ibn. And this is muqtada. This is khabar. So both will be in marfu case. So my answer will be in Asharu Ibnu Asharu Sanawati. Okay, because this can change haraka. And since this is in Khabar, this will be in Marfu. Number will be in Marfu. Asharu Sanawati. Okay, so this is actually they are saying you have to put the uh, numbers like Ibnu Ashara Sanawati. You can make a sentence like Ibni Asharu Sanawati. Okay, this is the sentence for this. Now, 24, uh, question number 24, we have Fi Salasa Mi'atin. Now, in this word, Salasa Mi'atin. Salasa Mi'atin means 300. Loves Mi'a Majroorun Bil Idafa. Majroorun Bil Idafa means Mia is actually, uh, these are number rules. Majroorun bil idafa. It comes, the word Mia 100 comes as uh, mudaf, mudaf ilahi construction. So, salasa will be mudaf and Mia will be in mudaf ilahi position like this. Just like this. Just the number rules of 3 to 10. When you say... Uh, uh, 200, 300, 400, 500, you will use the structure of idafa. So, Mia will always be in Majroor and Salasa, the number will be in Mudaf. Amma Salasa Fayyarab bi hasabil amil. Bi hasabil amil means according to the um, position in the sentence. Means Likewise, Ashara can change the haraka. Why? Because it was in khabar position. That's why the Ra had a Dhamma. It can change the haraka. But Sanawatin cannot because it is in Mudafilai position. Likewise, same way, similarly, Salasa Mi'atin will also uh, have the Arab like this. Like Mi'atin cannot change because it is in mudaf ilahi position. But Salasa is in mudaf position. Mudaf can change haraka. So, um, if I say fi salasa meyate, okay, for example, if I say, if I put 
fee salasa meate. If I say fee, harf ja. Fee fella sa. And the spelling, please uh, pay attention on the spelling. It has an alif. But we say meate. We don't pronounce it. Me a te. So this uh, becomes what? Because of the harf jar. Because of the harf jar, what happens? The salasa will change it into kasra. Okay? It will change into kasra. And this will remain as it is. This will not change. This will remain as it is, but this will change because it is in the position of muda. Thalasi me ate. Okay? That's why they are saying, for Europe, salasa bi hasab al amil. What is the amil? What is the reason to change into kasra? Amil is the harfjar. Because of this, it has taken a kasra. Amil is the harfjar, the reason, the cause. So uh, here uh, are some examples. We will see. Indi salasu me ati realin. Indi. Now you have to pay attention uh, the sentences that you are reading. Is it uh, jumla ismia or jumla failure or is it a shibu jumla? So in this jumla, what kind of jumla is this? I think this is shibu jumla because inda is zarf. Indi. Okay. So this is zarf. Whatever comes is Muqtada Muakhar and this is Khabar Muqaddam. So now if this is Muqtada Muakhar, that's why Salasu is having a Dhamma here. Salasu Mi'ati. Why is it Mi'ati single Kasra? Why? Because this is a triple Idafa construction. Riyalin. This is the mudaf ilahi. This is mudaf plus mudaf ilahi, and this is mudaf. Like here. Sala su. This is mudaf. Me a ti. Me a ti. This is mudaf ilahi plus mudaf. Again, both rules. This is playing a double role. And riya. Lin. Okay. Riyalin. Okay. Riyalin is your mudaf ilahi. So in the middle, it will only have a single kasra. Okay. And this is mudaf, so it will change its haraka. This is muqtada muakha. That's why it is in marfu case. Huna falasu marfun liannahu muqtada muakha. You can write here muakha because this sentence is shibu jumla. Uridu, this is our jumla failure. Uridu salasa me ati riyali. I want this number as in now maful bihi. Uridu fail, file is the mir mustatir, taqdiruhu ana. Why? Because this is harf anaitu alif for ana. Uridu fail plus file, file is the mir mustatir. Salasa. Salasa is in the position of maful bi. That's why it is having a kasra here. Mi ati realin. Now salasa mi ati realin is in triple construction idafa. Hona salasa mansubun liannahu mafulun bi. Ish the right to I bought fail and file. Please pay attention to the jumla you are reading. This is fail, jumla failure, fail plus file. Now this is with Ismail Ishara and Marifa noun. So this will be a compound word. One word. It will be considered as one word. So oh, sorry. Watch. Sa'ata with a fatha. Ishtaraitu hazihis sa'ata. This is maful bihi. B. This is half jar. Salasi mi'ati riyali. Now here salasi is in majroor. Because of what is the amil, what is the cause? Harf jar b. Mithlu thalasi mi'atin akhawatuha arba'u mi'ati wa khamsu mi'ati ila tis'i mi'ati. 
now from uh, uh, 3 to 9 3 like from 30 to 90 the rule is the same okay iqra al adad read the numbers fi ma yali qira'atan sahihatan qira'atan means this is masdar coming from the word qara'a qira'atan means reading and sahih means correct means read the numbers that are following uh, correct reading correct reading or read the following correctly fi hazihil kitabi okay i will tell you the harakas please mark it fi hazihil kitabi so if this is um shibu jumla because harf jar is coming uh, first fi hazihil kitabi this is shibu jumla khamsu mi'ati Safhatin. Okay. Khamsu with a dhamma because this is uh, Mubtada Muakhar. Khamsu me ati single kasra safhatin. Okay. And qara uh, tu, this is jumla failure. Qara tu fail file. Minha, then minha is extra here. Arba'a with a fatha maful bihi. Maful bihi is coming late. Arba'a mi ati. Ain with fatha. Mi ati. Ta with kasra. Safhatin. Thamanu. Thamanu means price. At tazkiratu. Tazkiratu is the ticket. Thamanu tazkirati. Sorry. It's in uh, mudaf and mudaf ilahi structure. So this is our uh, jumla ismiya, starting with a noun. Saman, price, and uh, tazkira is ticket. Price of the ticket is what? Uh, this is muqtada and this is khabar. So it will be this u ayn with dhamma. Mi ati dulare. Ish to fail file, jumla failia. Hazas. Siwara. Siwara is, um, it is a compound word taken as one word. Ishtaraitu has a siwara is maful bihi. B. Harf jar. Sab i. Ain with kasra. Mi ati junaihin. Junaihin is actually the name of the currency. Maybe of Sudan. Junaihin. Okay. And siwara is bracelet. Yadrusu, this is also of Jumla failure. Fi hazihil kulliyati. Hazihil kulliyati is one word. So it will be in uh, kasra, uh, is majroor. Hazihil kulliyati. So this is coming extra. Hmm? Uh, so yadrusu fail and file. Now whatever is coming here is in maful bihi. Now fi hazihil kulliyati is extra. So leave this. Our main attention uh, should be on yadrusu. Yadrusu fail. And where is the file? Hova damir mustatir. Tafdiruhu hova. Yadrusu fi hazihil kulliyati. Sit. What will be here? What will be the haraka on sit? Sitta. Because this is maful bihi. Sit. In this college, how many students study? 600. That's why Madina will be in Kasra. I think it's for Anna. To fail and file. This is extra. Which year? Ama Arba'a Mi'ati. So when fail and file has come, ila madina til munawarati is extra. When fail file has come, ama. This will be in maful bihi case. Arba'a mi'ati wa alfin lil hijri. Okay, lil hijri. Arba'ati mi arba'a. Sorry, arba'a mi'ati wa alfin lil hijri. Alf is thousand. So what is the number here? Am year Arba means mm, 1400. 
okay why why 1400 this is arba miyatin this is 400 and alf is 1000 so 1000 plus 400 will be 1400 lil hijri okay so this uh, present year is 1400 hijri if we um, uh, if we go according to the islamic calendar question number 25 i hope all this is clear for you uh, al yahud yahud means jews ismu jinsin jami'un ismu jins means yahud uh, we call uh, its jins means um, jews we call jews those who are jews ismu jins nationality jami'un wa ismu al jins al jami'u huwa alladhi yufarriqu bayna baynahu wa bayna wahid bil ya aw bitta for example amsila al afrad bil ya yahud yahudiyu yahud means jews so when you are speaking about a male yahud male jew what will you put ayya for you remember the nisba with ya with a shadda so for uh, this um, yahud yahudi you arabun arabiyun now this is actually jama ismul jins jamiyahu yahud means we are talking about a uh, lot of jews lot of jews this is a plural word that's why they are saying jamiyahu so for the plural word what will we use a single ya yahudiyun arab arabun is plural for uh, the arab hmm? arabiyun rumun rumiyun turkun turkiyun inkilizun inkilizun wa amsil al afrad bitta samakun now this uh, samak is um, actually um, this is uh, samak is actually a plural word for fish samak but one fish is samaku samakatu okay how will you uh, uh, how will you uh, differentiate you farriku means how will you differentiate bainahu wa baina wahid means uh, how will you differentiate whether it is a single or a jama so uh, wahid bilya aw bitta so if you see a ya with a shadda that means you are talking about one jew if you are saying yahu that means together all the jews if you are saying arabiyu that means one arbi this ya with shadda tells you it is singular okay so Roman means all the Romans but when you use a ya with a shadda that means one Ro Roman guy one Roman person so that's how you see that it is wahid singular now samakun is actually plural word for fishes and one fish is known as samakatun shajarun is plural for trees and shajaratun is singular Tufahun is plural, but when you say Tufahatun, it is singular. Ainabun is grapes together. Ainabatun, one grape, one ball of grape. Mouse is plural. Mausatun, one single banana. Habbun is one. Habbatun is uh, singular. Okay. Hab is seed. So this is your uh, lesson number three question answers from 13 to 25 hope it's clear with you alhamdulillah we finished with lesson three